Good Thursday morning, everybody. It is September 16th. And since it's Thursday, that also means that tonight we have drive through communion from 5 to 5.15. And then I'll come back on later at 7 and put up a video for you all for a, a song or a hymn or something. Or maybe, a, maybe a sermon tonight. I don't know. Maybe I'll find something like that. I've got to look for that here in a minute. But today we are jumping into the third chapter of John's Gospel uh, with a story that everybody knows. Um, if you're a Christian, I can't believe you don't know this story. This is the story of Nicodemus coming and Jesus telling him he needs to be born again or born from above. Um, so this is uh, the verse we're going to look at is John chapter 3, uh, the first 10 verses, 1 through 10. And let's just dive right into it because this one's a, I don't know, we'll try not to get this one to run over. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. <laughs> What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? And Jesus answered him, You are a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things. Okay. Um, several things. First of all, this is following up right after the cleansing of the temple, which we talked about yesterday. Um, and that is the, uh, again, we mentioned yesterday that this is the cleansing story is placed differently in John's gospel than it is in the synoptics. And there's a, I think there's a reason for that. And I've said this before. Um, John, the author of John, whoever it might be, moved that story forward from a theological standpoint to precede this story here about uh, the, of Nicodemus coming. Now, Nicodemus is a man of no small reputation. He's a member of the council. He shows up three times in John. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, give you a spoiler on that uh, about where he shows up again. You're just going to have to follow along through this study and watch for good old Nicodemus to show up. But he does make two more appearances in John's gospel. And... Uh, he does show up as being someone who apparently has a, has at least a, more than just a passing, passing interest in Jesus' teachings. Um, and he's come to Jesus here at night. Um, I'll back up so I can finish one thought. Here in, in this story, I think the reason being, we just had done talking about Jesus being the temple, you know, the, the destruction of the, the, the he, he foretold the story of the destruction of the temple, and we believe Jesus being the temple, the new, the new temple. Um, and here we have a story of Nicodemus, and I would, I would present to you perhaps Nicodemus in this story isn't just Nicodemus. Nicodemus is the entirety of the Jewish faith that he is talking to the Jews about that you need to be born again from above. And, and that's what that means. That word doesn't mean just born again. We, we uh, evangelical Christians especially, tend to talk about being born again, and they focus on a born again, born again. It, it means just as equally above. You're born again from above. You're born again of God. And so it's not a physical birth by any means. It is a spiritual birth, as we all know. Um, so it is a spiritual rebirth for Israel is what I'm getting at here. He's talking to Israel. You need to be born again from above. A new birth. And it's a new creation. He in here in chapter or verse five, um, said, verse five, very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. That very much echoes the very first verses of the Genesis story where the spirit comes over the water. Okay, and so this is very much an echoing of. So Jesus, it's a new creation. In Judaism, the the chosen, the chosen one, the chosen people, uh, God's favored people, is to be born again from above. Um, so that's what's going on there. Why Nicodemus came? I'll go back to why did Nicodemus come at night? Well, um, we we'd like to think that he came at night, or we often think that he came at night because um, that 
was the cover of darkness. People didn't see him coming and going to Jesus. And since he is part of uh, probably a member of the Sanhedrin, he's a member of the ruling council, um, that he didn't want to be seen coming to Jesus. There's a few people on the council aren't too keen on Jesus and his and his teachings and his ministry. Uh, Nicodemus again seems to have more than just a passing fancy, um, but he's going to he, he's kind of hesitant to make that known. Apparently, it would seem. Uh, but there's another angle to this too. Oftentimes, people would come to a rabbi, a teacher at at night, and a lot of times, you know, the disciples would come and come and see where I'm staying. You know, when Jesus is calling his disciples, just back a ways. Um, they, you would live with your rabbi. You'd live with the teacher. That wasn't uncommon. Um, so there's that that familiarity there. Um, and Jesus is is a rabbi. He calls him a teacher, rabbi. Um, he, and he's he's inquisitive. He's trying to learn from Jesus. Um, I've talked many times about Hal- Halil and Shammai. Uh, Halil, um, eh, Halel. Not pronounce that correctly. Halel was um, the more progressive of the rabbis at the time of Jesus. Shammai was the more conservative. And they had different teachings. And, and we talk about the yoke. And Jesus is talking about his yoke being light. And here Nicodemus is coming to try out that yoke and to see what exactly is it that Jesus is teaching about how to be. And he's telling him right off the bat, you got to be born of the Spirit. Uh, a new creation is what you have to be. Uh, Just like that's why he's echoing the creation story, I believe, in verse 5. So that's where I'm going to leave you at today. um, And we will pick up from there tomorrow a little bit more of this conversation uh, that that Nicodemus and uh, Jesus are having uh, will be what we'll be talking about tomorrow. Okay? Uh, And don't forget, though, we do have drive through communion at 5 to 5.15. We'll hopefully see you either there or see you Sunday or whatever. All right? Have a blessed day, and please, please, please... Be a blessing to someone today. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.